Hey guys, I wanted to go over some of the safety features built into the AV series spindles, specific for ATC applications. Uh, we've mentioned that these are smart spindles before, and that's because of the onboard PLC, uh, which can read information from the TAC, uh, the drawbar up and down sensors, and our button. The information from the tachometer is useful because it lets the spindle know whether it's on or off, and that information can prevent an unwanted release of a tool in the case of a software error, electrical error, or uh, unintentional button press. As for the drawbar sensors, we have two. Uh, there's one to detect whether the drawbar is in the highest position and one to detect whether it's in the lowest position. And when there's a tool in the spindle, it's kind of somewhere in between. Uh, so that means that both of those sensors aren't activating and the spindle knows that it does have a tool inside. And to demo that, I have two tool holders uh, here with me. Uh, one with a correctly installed pull stud and one with a intentionally loose pull stud. So when I put the correctly set up tool holder in my spindle, input 45, uh, which I have connected to the upper position of the drawbar, um, it's giving me a red signal, which means that the drawbar was not able to fully go into the retracted position, which it shouldn't be able to under a successful tool change. And then when I try to do the same thing with my loose pull stud, Input 45 is green, which means that the drawbar was able to fully retract, which is not the correct state for a successful tool change. So the software is going to know this, and if your spindle is going to pick up a tool from your tool rack, and this happens, and you have a loose tool, or the, the pickup isn't successful, uh, it's going to realize because the drawbar is not in the right spot, and it's going to stop, uh, and you're not going to start cutting with a loose tool. All that goes to show that the AV series spindles do a really good job of trying to be as safe as possible during operation, uh, whether that's preventing unwanted tool ejection or whether that's notifying CNC 12 when a pickup doesn't happen successfully. Uh, all of it's in the name of safety. And again, I'm aiming to get about one video out a week showing you guys behind the scenes development of the full ATC system. If you have any questions or anything you want to see next, make sure to drop that in the comments and stay tuned.